we can move right along uh, because we have two people who you've met before uh, and I was spoke, speaking about them earlier on. They are in a way the kind of people who started this night, D8 Live, by organising a wonderful regular sing-song during lockdown just around the corner here in New Ireland Road. They are Paul O'Boyle and Roisin Ryder and they're going to come and sing a few lovely songs for us. Okay, uh, thanks very much. Um, I'm actually going to sing the first song on my own. Um, oh. <laughs> 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 um, I'd just like to introduce it because um, when I heard that Keith was coming to speak here, uh, this song immediately came into my head. Um, and it's called, it's, it's what you do is what you've got. And I suppose I dedicate it to Adrian and Keith tonight. Um, it, it was written by a man called Cy Khan from Glasgow and sung by Dick Gockin, who I know uh, Dave knows. So anyway, I'll give it a lash. <clears throat> I'm just coming out at the end of a bit of a cold, so if my voice is a bit squeaky, just listen to the words. <laughs> You must know someone like him He's tall and strong and lean With a body like a greyhound And a mind so sharp and keen But his heart is like a laurel All twisted round itself Till almost everything he did But pain to someone else it's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to be. It's not how big your share is, but how much you can share. It's not the fight you've dreamed of, but those you've really fought. It's not what you've been given, it's what you do with what you've got. What's the use of two strong legs if you only run away? And what's the use of the finest voice if you've nothing good to say? What good is strength and muscle if you only push and shove? And what's the use of two good ears if you can't hear those you love? It's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to be. It's not how big your share is, but how much you can share. It's not the fight you've dreamed of, but those you've really fought. It's not what you've been given, it's what you do with what you've got. Between those who use their neighbours and those who use a cane, between those in constant power and those in constant pain, between those who run to evil and those who cannot run. Tell me which ones are the cripples and which ones touch the sun. It's not just what you're born with, it's what you choose to be. It's not how big your share is, but how much you can share. It's not the fight you've dreamed of, but those you've really fought. It's not what you've been given, it's what you do with what you've got. Thank you. Um, so we're going to do two anti-war songs now. Uh, so for the last while we first of all had Russia invading Ukraine and then we had lately um, Israel once again invading the state of Palestine and then last night we had Dublin overrun with a whole lot of very hateful racist people and of course the common thing between Israel and Palestine and what happened here in Dublin at its root cause, the common thing is racism. So the Palestinian people apparently don't exist and if they do exist they're either Hamas supporters 
um, their human shields. And there's a third category that the Israeli ambassador mentioned. Um, but basically, at the root cause of both what's happening in Dublin and what's happening in, in Gaza, and its root cause is racism, the, the uh, you know, denial of a, of a people's right to exist in its place of birth, and here denial of the right to exist of people who are not white Caucasian in Dublin. So I think it's time to sing songs which are anti-war, because uh, certainly for my life, every decade of my life, I have been looking at war from a very early age on the television, all the way through Aden, French in Algeria, Vietnam, Afghanistan, uh, Russia tumbling into, in, into Prague. Uh, I could go on and on and on. Every decade, I've been looking at colonizing wars. So this song originated in 1969. It was written by a woman called Buffy San Marie. And it's called Universal Soldier. He's five foot two and he's six foot four. He fights with missiles and with spears. He's all 31 and he's only 17. He's been a soldier for a thousand years. He's a Catholic, a Hindu, an atheist, a Jain. He's a Buddhist and a Baptist and a Jew. He knows he shouldn't kill, but he knows he always will. Kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. And he's fighting for Canada, and he's fighting for France. He's fighting for the USA And he's fighting for the Russians And he's fighting for Japan And he thinks we'll put an end to war this way And he's fighting for democracy And he's fighting for the Reds He says it's for the peace of all. He's the one who will decide who's to live and who's to die. But he doesn't see the writing on the wall. He's the universal soldier and he always is to blame. This is not the way we put an end to war And with Adam Howard, Hitler have condemned them at the hell Without him, Caesar would have stood alone He's the one who gives his body as a weapon for the war Without him all this killing can't go on Yes, he's the universal soldier And he really is to blame His orders come from far away no more They come from here and there and you and me And brother, can't you see? This is not the way we put an end to war He's the universal soldier and he really is to blame His orders come from 
far away no more We have seen the Warsaw Ghetto Now each day it's Palestine When will we learn to prove an end to war? because there's no checks. So join in the chorus. Uh, so please join in. It's to the tune of um, Mary Won't You Weep. Mary Won't You Weep, which you may remember from Bruce Springsteen's Seeger sessions on Peter's uh, Pete Seeger. So, yeah, please join in. Yeah. Russian writer Helena McNeil and Joyce Mann. That's wonderful. 